Good morning. My name is Peter Ripley, and I'm running, I am live in Port Angeles, Washington, and I'm running for city council. Today, I decided to do the video chats on Sundays because it, you know, it, it's more appropriate. It starts a week off on, on a good footing, and so hopefully, starting this Sunday and, and following, uh, I'll do these uh, video chats and uh, put them up. Today's subject uh, it brings to heart is something close to my heart is this carnival idea I have I have I would like to see happen here in Port Angeles now ideally Port, uh, ideally this this carnival would be great for downtown and and there's many options for that we need to look towards that but the thing is we need to have this as a as a private enterprise a private business and we need to encourage a private carnival company to come into town and develop a carnival park. Now the reason why I'm pushing this is because if this happens to fall on, on the 4th of July weekend holiday and, and, and I hope that everyone had a nice holiday and, and it also brings to mind one of the reasons why we, I want to have this is to raise money for the for the for social services, which have been cut uh, because of budgeting constraints last year. I was shocked. I was shocked when I when I saw the Health and Human Services are not being funded. Thankfully, the council did find thirty thousand dollars to put back into social services, which they should have gotten the. When they should, what they should have gotten was the full amount that they normally get. I think it's around fifty thousand dollars. Anyway, during the I went to the parade, the the Fourth of July parade, and the following day, the PDN, the Peninsula Daily News, ran a, ran a story with a photo gallery of of you know onlookers and participants at the parade, and one of the onlookers was a was a girl had CP, a cerebral palsy. She was in a wheelchair. She was, you know, she, you know, she was a kid. And that brought to mind the reasons why we need to continually fund health and human services. Because funding these services helps out kids like that. And we shouldn't be cutting funding. And I, and I swear, if I am elected and if I see one budgetary expense of so I see budgetary and I see the budgetary uh, expenditures that cuts health and human services, police and fire, our streets and roads, I'll be voting against it. These are vital services and they should not be cut from the budget. In the same vein, I am still advocating the um, the uh, my tax initiative of a moratorium on tax increases for the next two to three years. That's another part of my budget package. If I'm elected, I'll try my very best to try to get that passed and approved by the full council. Anyway, as for the carnival, the carnival idea it comes about came about because my desire to try to raise money for the for disabled and the homeless. And I went to the and homeless seminar this earlier uh, earlier in June. And one of the participants suggested to me that another good reason to have this carnival is it could help homeless youths to get jobs during the carnival. They can get some money in their pocket. That's a great idea. Another reason why, a good reason to continue going to these functions is you, you pick up on ideas from the folks. I don't need a campaign manager because I'm getting good advice from the citizens and people around me. Anyway, I hope that this little chat will help encourage you and, and I hope that I, I get your vote on November 6th. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good week.